minutes and I want to uh, walk away from the businesses for a few minutes. And I have a lot more businesses than that. If you've been reading my emails, look at the sent mails. Go on my Facebook page and where it gives you the password and the actual email accounts and just kind of see all the businesses I'm talking about. Now, obstructing my right to do business because of violating my constitutional rights? <laughs> for all of those that I said, oh, about a week and a half ago, <laughs> you dumb fuckers are liable for the money I'm losing. <laughs> it it would have been a lot easier to remove this protection order that doesn't have a petitioner. That I myself was never served before there was a court hearing. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier if you'd just given me my sons a year ago. But we're looking at hundreds of billions of dollars worth of liability up to this point. And I don't know exactly what those in law enforcement are doing, but I've asked for them to, to give me... Oh, look at there's a green light right there. Oh, look at there's a green light. <laughs> Now, I don't want to stay in a homeless shelter. I want to know. <laughs> Do I call the FBI? <laughs> Do I call a sheriff? Is there somebody that's going to say, well, Paul, here's your sons, and here's a nice hotel room, and we made sure there's a bathtub in there so I could soak my legs. Now, I happen to have lead pants, and, and for some reason somebody leaded my clothes and leaded my food, thinking, well, we'll just fill the guy full of lead, and then we'll magnetize him, and he won't be able to walk. <laughs> now, when you get that much lead in a person's body, 